Good morning and happy Earth Day, everybody, from Disney's Animal Kingdom. It is the 100th anniversary of Disney, but more importantly, today is the 25th birthday or anniversary of the opening of Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom opening on Earth Day, April 22nd, 1998. Ticket prices for that opening day were somewhere around $42. A single park ticket today for Animal Kingdom, $154. Paper match today for the anniversary. Oops, thank you. Special commemorative guide map, 25 years. Join us at 8.30 in the morning to celebrate the 25th anniversary. They've got special merch today as well as special food. Look at that. There's a cupcake. Happy Earth Day. There's a big crowd. Earth Day birthday. There we go. Must be in the front row. We're all standing here, but meanwhile, you can meet Moana. Happy Earth Day. In just 10 minutes, we proudly invite you to join us in front of the Tree of Life as we celebrate the 25th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park. In front of the Tree of Life as we celebrate the 25th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom. This performance group has brought their unique blend of music, culture, and fun to Disney's Animal Kingdom for over 18 years. It's a shame that Disney doesn't have the resources to put up a video screen. There we go, the nail in the coffin. Clap with your one hand free. Thank you. 
Oh my, look what I spot with my little eye. So we want to invite you all to be a part of our family as we celebrate the 25th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Dude, if you're gonna hold your arm up and block everybody, at least zoom in. I mean, come on, dude. Escape! There's the 25th merchandise, spear sweaters, t-shirts, bags, and there's a line out the door to buy merchandise. Literally people lining up to print money for Disney. So this is what they mean when they say they're going broke. We're gonna wander a little bit, starting in Pandora. Opening day attraction, Avatar. <laughs> of course, I kid, this came out the second year that they were open. This never gets old. I love how they design this, and the people pick it apart and say, well, if you leave the park, you can go outside and see the back of it, and that's not the magic. This is the magic. This is incredible. It's the tree of life. 155 minutes, standby for Flight of Passage. End of line. The mech suit. It's one of the coolest things that they have in this park, and I really wish that they would bring back the guy that was in the suit walking around here. So much nature here. <laughs> New popcorn buckets today. Look at the whole storage. Oh my. <laughs> we have one loose in the cage as much as an oxymoron it could be. The rest are in their protective homes. <laughs> this is where Dikembe lives. This is where Disney stockpiles the gas. Soaking up the sun. So at nine o'clock, the line for the safari starts all the way back here. We booked a Genie Plus slot for that. Yes, we did pay $18 for Genie Plus today. I'm hoping that once we get in line for this in a little bit, that we can start to daisy chain them. There was a gentleman back there that didn't move on to Earth Day. He still thought it was 420 day. I mean, no judging, but this is a theme park with kids in it. Fitchwa, Nikki, Fitchwa. I need to get one of those. At least let me bring my scooter in the park. Or the one wheel. The backside of water in the tree of life. It's the tree. Here comes the character flotillas. It's supposed to be special characters today for Earth Day. Gosh, look at all the people. It's Earth Day and I'm using gasoline in this water.
just around the river bed. Please welcome. Well, we did not see any rare characters yet. We're gonna head back over to Safari. I feel like dancing. So the standby line for Safari was 95 minutes now. We'll see how long it takes to go through with Lightning Lane. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Safari's so mining is Marvin. And these bongos hanging out around Salt Lakes out in the wild. There's going to be a bongo on the right now, also owns, and they can charge at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. But they are solitary rhinos. They now, hippos typically reside in groups, and groups of hippos are known as bloats. Bloats can get as large as 100 hippos. But the leader of them have Nile crocodiles over here. They can grow about as long as a giraffe is tall, so up to 20 feet long. We've reached the I-4 portion of the safari. <laughs> kind of act like lawnmowers. They are going to eat the tall grass down. She's wandering around. Largest antelopes. They can stand up to six feet tall at their shoulders and weigh 2,000 pounds. But that elon can still jump up about eight feet up in the air. Now, over on your right, That's his butt. when you have a group of zebras, nose to find out. So our zebras out here on the reserve have black noses. That just means they will be black with white stripes. Those stripes go all the way down to their skin. So even if you shaved all the hair and fur off these zebras, they are still gonna have their stripes. And they're gonna be led by an alpha male and an alpha female. And they will be part of that canine family, but they are actually more closely related. To all the way towards the back trees back there, there are two antelope kind of sitting on the ground back there. Those are sable antelope. Their horns curve backwards, keep predators off their backs. And then also to the left, those animals with really large horns, temperature. If you look over here to your left, we have a couple more Maasai giraffes over here. Now giraffes are gonna spend most of their day eating or looking for food to eat, half million every year for their migration. It's gonna be so large, they have been able to reach a certain age. They get kicked out of these herds to go live out on their own. They might form small all male herds known as bachelor herds, but for the most part, male elephants prefer it. This is Little Red's camp. Westerners misheard them, thought they were saying white. It's only got the name White Rhino. Since that's when they do most of their hunting, their night vision will be about six times better than ours. But the female lions are the ones that do the hunting. The males actually hang back and guard their territory and any cubs they have. If you look over here to your right, we're gonna have some more white rhinos. It's gonna be a mom and her baby over here. And then if you look all the way to the back to the right by that truck, there are some ostriches hanging out. Now a group of lions is gonna be called a pride. Prides can get a sense of balance, which makes them very Oops. good climbers. And out in Africa, they are the farmers and their families with milk. Well, in return, the farmers protect these goats and set us up. My God, the poachers. What have you done? What have you done? There was a gorilla here seconds ago. And Mary's like, hey, look on top of the waterfall. There's a camp up there. Never saw that before. Hello. A good day to you guys. Oh, look at that guy. Stuck his tongue out. The naked mole rat mystery, they finally solved it. Horatio, is that you? There's a hippo. No marbles. There's one right there, and one all the way in the back. I desperately need cast members in here to tell if people keep moving. Oh. Oh my 
god, there's a baby! Oh my god, look at that baby! There's the gorilla that we saw at the exit of Kilimanjaro, but he walked away. Or they walked away. I'm gonna try one of these Tiger Eye beers. They're brewed in Gainesville and only available at Animal Kingdom. We got corn on the cob with African spices and butter and watermelon. And by the way, ingredients for fresh watermelon is watermelon. Try this beer out. The corn is so delicious, so sweet, offset by the spice. And then I'm gonna say again, because I always talk about prices at parks. Corn in the cob, $5.29. I remember back when it was like three bucks and then like four bucks for corn in the cob at Disney. Because I'm an old man and I like to complain. DuckTales! Cheers, Scrooge. Attention, all ex It's Pocahontas. Again. Coming back across the Tree of Life and we have this 25th anniversary photo up here. We missed because it was absolutely packed this morning. Oh, it's a party and Kevin is out. It's a blast. Still no replacement ride back there in Dino Land. What are you so happy about? Accurate. I kind of love this. Got characters meeting out here now too. Look at this. We got a frozen Coke, but they have these hand dipped Mickey bars here too. All kinds of cool Coca-Cola stuff here. We are now lightning laning Mickey and Minnie. There's not so much lightning on this one. Look at all the places they've gone. Then they've got some field notes and articles of interest. Looks like they were at Dino Land and Rafiki's Planet Watch. On that Mickey. Happy Earth Day, Mick. You doing anything special today for Earth Day? Special meal? Oh, you're going to go cruising. Cool. Hi, Minnie. Happy Earth Day to you, too. Let's do some pictures. All right. Time for a trip on Everest. They did not swipe our lightning lane, Magic Bands. They have checkers up here. I shop at the Sassy Yeti.
too. Moana started meeting at Animal Kingdom today. The lines have been a couple hours long. We met Moana back when the movie was out at Hollywood Studios, like no line at all. So we're gonna skip the Moana meet today. The line for merchandise is still endless. I think even with Lightning Lane, it's time to call it a day. This place is packed. As we're leaving, I give you one last fun fact. There's 40 animals in this park today that were here on opening day 25 years ago. All right, Animal Kingdom. We are getting out of here while the going is good. It is gonna rain, the wind is picking up. Um, as far as Earth Day and birthday, um, not a gigantic celebration. There is, I think when it comes to celebrations now, it really boils down to merchandise and people <laughs> just buying merchandise. Like yeah. we'll celebrate the 50th, we'll celebrate the 100th, we'll celebrate the birthdays for each of these parks, Epcot's anniversary. Um, we love to celebrate anniversaries and have merchandise. But as far as like extra stuff, not a lot of plussed up things here today. And by the way, that's fine because we came to the park to just enjoy our day. It's very crowded, it's warm. Uh, it's what we typically expect for an average Saturday or maybe a, a more enhanced Saturday uh, weekend at a Disney park. I think we're back at Disney in a couple of weeks. Um, so more Disney stuff coming along. But for now, getting out of here. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. <laughs> Birds saying goodbye too. Treat others when you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.